Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial for your software for Canon Scan. Now, uh, the software for all the scanners pretty much the same. They differ in some things. Um, I'm using the Canon Scan Lit 700F. Now, uh, the easiest way to find that is once you have it installed and everything, just go into your spotlight right here and write scan. You're gonna see your application right here, Canon Scan Lit 700F2. Just click on that, open that up. Okay, right here, it's gonna be on A4. That means you're scanning a full page. So if, if you are scanning a full page, just do that. That's the easiest thing to do. Or US letters are about the same size. Um, what I always choose is I scan smaller pictures. All right, it's just detecting closing box. All right, uh, once you do that, just go to show details right here. And you're just gonna, your scanner is going to be warming up, so as you can hear it right now. Now I'm scanning a small picture. It, um, I work on photo restoration, so it depends what type of picture you're scanning. I'm scanning a picture that is black and white. So right now it's scanned it as um, color. So I do want to scan this black and white. <laughs> Now, uh, the grays, we're gonna put it as thousands of grays. If you put thousands of grays, you won't be able to get the max resolution. Um, almost with any setting that you choose, you won't be able to scan at max resolution. But that's all right. This max resolution that you see right here is only if you wanna um, scan the picture and then print it out as big as a poster size, uh, let's say 24 by 36. Now, if you just want to scan the picture and get a copy of it, just scan it as 600 dpi, that's good enough. Or if you want something a bit better, just go to 12,000. There's no need for it more than that. Unless you do photo restoration like me, where you wanna pick always the highest that the program lets you. Um, just in case, all scanners scan at 600 dpi. No matter if I choose this, it's still scanning at 600 dpi. Um, all this does when you choose a bigger resolution, it um, pretty much the program what it's doing it's uh kind of making up more pixels for you all right so it's not really scanning at that but it's making up more yeah i don't know if you guys understand that a little bit but anyways um you're not really scanning at that right any resolution that you pick well that's more than 600 it's really 600 dpi that's scanning but your program is making it larger so it's making up a little bit more pixels so um all right so i'm just gonna pick this one uh we're gonna pick uh, where to scan it to so my desktop that's the easiest way name yeah i'm just gonna put old photograph old uh format if you're gonna edit it in in photoshop might as well do it tiff tiff is a much larger size so it's nice to have that um, so I'm just going to show you if, if it works right now, um, usually with the biggest resolution it doesn't work, it won't let you, so I'm just going to put scan right there. So scan operations cancelled, uh, right here is scan report an error, so we can't. So what we do is bring it down a bit, try to scan that, if that doesn't work, you bring it down a little bit more. And I'm not going to bring it more down than that, so if it doesn't work at that, then I'm just not going to scan it with these settings so i'm just gonna put scan in that okay so i'm just gonna bring it up again to 48 i'm gonna put it on to 256 grays actually for a black and white picture instead of putting 256 uh grays i did notice that if you scan it in color and then transform it to black and white in photoshop it'll be better so i'm just gonna put it billions and we're gonna try it again so it doesn't let you uh so we just gonna put it down to millions, and that's pretty much gonna work. So that worked. Um, so don't worry about it. it, it the program can't really do all that it says right there with the settings, uh, because the file is just gonna be too huge and can't really handle it. Right now, with the settings that I put, it's gonna be huge. All right, your file is gonna be um, maybe 200 megabytes or or even more. Okay, so right now it's scanning the picture. Um, like I said, I'm scanning in color, although it's black and white, doesn't matter. All I want is those shades of grays. Afterwards, I'm gonna transform that into uh, black and white. 
on Photoshop which you do have to or else your picture as you can see right here you're gonna get those yellowish parts which don't really exist alright uh, unless you transform it to grayscale um, that's pretty much how you use this once it's done scanning you will see your picture right here on your desktop if you choose desktop like I did right here um, so basically here are all the pictures I scanned they're right there TIFF files TIFF file is better than JPEG it just holds more information um, if you're gonna edit it in Photoshop now if you just wanna print it just scan it to JPEG that's a regular regular format that you will be able to take to Walmart or wherever and just print it uh, not all printers accept and will read TIFF files so be aware of that um, well that's pretty much it for the tutorial of using this program it's pretty simple um, from the scanning then you you might want to use Photoshop or any other program out there to edit your pictures if you need to if not then you just can just go and print them uh, but remember to save them as JPEGs in the end I do save my pictures as in JPEGs highest resolution uh, and yeah Photoshop does the trick for that uh, thank you for watching any comments questions about the, the scanner just uh, leave me right here in YouTube or send me an email. Thank you for watching.